My name is Robert Abasi Stone, and you're tuned into another lecture from the hood. This uh, lecture is about if I was president. Now, um, I've often complained, and a lot of other people have often complained, that our current president hasn't done enough for African Americans. One of the things that people will always ask is, what would you do if you was president? And these are the things that I would, would have done if I was president. Now, I don't know how long I would have lived or how, how long it would have taken for me to be assassinated. And I know I, I probably wouldn't have lasted for a second term. But this is what I would have attempted to do if I was, if I was president. One of the things that I would have done was make sure that we do something about the, the school system. Now, I know we, a lot of people are saying now is that the president didn't have um, jurisdiction, jurisdiction over things like local schools, but I still would have pushed some ideas um, through the states about things that, that need to be done. The number one thing that needs to be done is no black school should go without a black curriculum. There should always be an, an African history curriculum whenever black children are being taught. That's number one. That's mandatory. It has to be mandatory because African American history is American history. There's no way that you can teach about the Louisiana Purchase without also talking about the Haitian Revolution. And, and for those of you, you who are not familiar with what I'm talking about, because of the Haitian Revolution, um, a Napoleon and the French lost money um, from that from the French from the French uh, uh, sugar trade. Once they lost money, they need to recoup some of that money. Therefore, they had to sell Louisiana back to the United States. Now, how can you leave black people out of that scenario? It's beyond me. So, um, black history is American history. And I don't think that the current president did enough to put it, push that idea to the American public. Uh, number two, reparations. Reparations for slavery um, has to be something that at least an African-American president um, needs, needs to address. Um, before I go on, I know some of you are saying that he's not an African-American president, and he isn't technically. Um, the president, our current president, father, uh, lived in Nigeria and was a Nigerian, and his mother was white. So technically he has no ties or ancestral ties to slavery. So, uh, so he's not a black person technically in the terms of how we consider uh, what we consider to be a black person. Um, but we all know people go on appearances, and since he appears to be a black person, then he's treated like a black person. So, and that's evident in how much he was disrespected by white people while he was um, president. So number two would be reparations. Uh, um, some dialogue has to take place about um, restitution, financial restitution, um, academic restitution for slavery, um, and and that has has to at least be discussed um, when you when you're president. Um, increase trade with Africa. Um, there's so many resources in Africa that that, that people um, can that we could benefit from um, African Americans and even even other Americans. But you know my concern. Is with the African American community because the African community, African American community is neglected. So trade with Africa would have been something that he could have promoted um, more strongly as well. Now, for all those who are saying that he can't have, to, uh, that he can't uh, step aside and just do for one group, remember now, he spent a lot of time um, helping um, gays and homosexuals. And that's, that's a specific group, and that's the group that he passed a lot of laws for and did a lot of advocacy for. And I'm thinking, or I believe that with my presidency, that I would spend a lot of time advocating for the things that I know African Americans need. I think that a president needs to be creative. Um, one of the things that I would do, I would increase welfare for, for women and men who get married. You know, if we talk about that marriage is important, then why not reward it? Um, I would increase welfare for parents whose children grades improve. I mean, if we want to head in the direction 
um, where families are strong and their children are educated, then why not reward the people for that? Um, so that's one of the things that I will also um, do in it for poor people. What about instituting police background checks for white policemen who are connected with the KKK and other white supremacist organizations? A lot of black people are excluded from the psychological, um, by the psychological test that the police give to black people. Why aren't these people ever excluded um, when given psychological tests unless that's not something the psychological te test is looking for? Um, so new psychological tests to try to pick up on people who are racist, people who will kill innocent people, um, and, a, and a more thorough background check on people who are associated with white supremacy groups. Um, we can't uh, uh, give sensitivity classes to people whose minds are already made up and who are already racist. We have to exclude them from the process before they become officers. One of the things that, that the president did talk about, I don't know if it's implemented, and I have to do more research to find, find out, where it's at right now is a free community college for everyone. Uh, I know that uh, I don't know the stipulations. I know there are some, um, but that was one idea that could help the African American community um, that he could have pushed for a little harder than than what he did. Um, a second part to this video, uh, but for now. Um, I just want to say that these are just some of the things that I would have I would have fought for, even with my life, if I had the chance to be in the position that Mr. Obama was in. But again, if we judge him based on the regular standards of a president, then he was one of the greatest presidents ever. But if we judge him based on what he's done for our people, African Americans, then he was just like everybody else, and he may have done even less. Um, our problems are even greater in terms of, of, of black colleges receiving funding, um, the mass incarceration of African American men, the mass closing of public schools. These are other issues that I want to address in the next video. Um, so um, until then, brothers and sisters, um, don't look at the color. Look at what the, uh, the program is. If the program is positive for us, then it's good. If the program is negative for us, I don't care what color the person is who's presenting it. So think about these things, and I'll get back with you on part two of this video. You know what it is. Peace.